And our consumer alert food prices are soaring at rates not seen since the late 70s, all the way from the meat counter to the bread aisle. And many items on your grocery list are more expensive. Jen Sullivan gives us a look at the items you're paying more for, but also how to save on your next supermarket trip. Prices for several basic items on your grocery list are soaring at rates not seen since May 1979. Food prices are up 11.4% on a year ago basis. That's according to the latest consumer price index released Tuesday by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which also showed that overall, grocery prices jumped 13.5% over the last year. The data highlighting what Americans are already seeing at the supermarket. Most food items are more expensive than a year ago, including the bare essentials. Egg prices are up nearly 40%. Milk rose 17 percent, and the price of bread jumped more than 16 percent. Economists say that's worsening the situation for U.S. families already struggling to make ends meet. Their own personal finances, which largely can be translated into personal disposable income, well, that's falling in real terms. There's also sticker shock at the meat and poultry counter. Chicken prices are up nearly 17 percent. Meat and pork both up nearly 7 percent. And experts say the increases are forcing many families to constantly redo their budgets. I'll look at my bank statement, figure out what's going on, jot it down, and then sort of go through it and see what I can cut. Author Michelle Singletary says if you're trying to save on groceries, try skipping the credit or debit card. Take cash to the grocery store. Take cash to even fill up your car because you will find you'll drive less because you're thinking, I just spent $50, that $50 out of your hand. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. And going out and sitting down for a meal is also costing more. The Bureau of Labor Statistics also shows that restaurant menu prices increased by 8%. Well, the labor market is remaining strong despite some slowing in other areas of the economy. Now, according to the Labor Department data that was released today, the number of first-time claim, claims for unemployment benefits fell for the fifth straight week. Initial claims for unemployment insurance were 213,000 for the week ending September 10th, and that's down 5,000 from the prior week and the lowest level in the last three months. While your Starbucks order is going to be getting a lot quicker, the company says it's taking big steps to upgrade and speed up services. And that includes new systems and machines that will let baristas make a frappuccino in just 36 seconds, down from 87 seconds. Starbucks is also, also says that it's going to offer new incentives for non-union employees. And that includes student loan support, savings accounts, and more sick time.